Although not as big a contributor to global warming as CO2, methane is much more potent. In fact, it's warmed global temperatures 0.5 degrees of our 1.1 warming since the Industrial Revolution. So the fact that methane levels have doubled since the 19th century, reaching record jumps in the past year, is an alarming trend. I want to show you the sources of methane around the world, which is different for different regions. For example, we see the most methane methane coming from agriculture and rice cultivation in places like India and Asia. For China, it's new fossil fuel projects, and for North America, it is some leaking methane from fossil fuel projects, but mainly natural sources and uh, from the melting of the permafrost releasing methane layers there. So that's the bad and the ugly. The good, even though methane is 25 times more potent at trapping heat than CO2, it doesn't last nearly as long sticking around for nine years rather than the thousands of years that CO2 can stay in the atmosphere. And that's why at COP26 in Glasgow in 2021, nations around the world, including Canada, agreed to target methane as uh, part of plans to reduce overall emissions, sort of considering it low hanging fruit, because if we can cut emissions, not only will that stop that percentage of temperatures warming, it will actually lead to a cooling effect from that percentage of methane in the atmosphere. Uh, as far as how we're going to get countries around the world to cut methane, accountability will be key. And the fact that we do have monitoring systems, NASA has been successfully monitoring since 1983, that will help with accountability and policy making. And that should hopefully be part of the solution. And now your science mark. If you have a science question, send me a tweet and I'll try to get it answered.